Chillus, chillus. Welcome back, guys. This is the motherfucking Critic Court. Uh, I am Toke. I am here to give you guys that review on that first episode of Secession, Chapter 4. I don't know why I keep saying Chapter 4. I'm still thinking of uh, Stuck on John Wick. I'm sorry. Uh, season 4. <laughs> Fucking, uh, yeah. So, this episode was, it was, I don't know, it was pretty, it was kind of mid to me, um, but I can tell, you know, they're just, you know, they're building up, they're building up for what's to come, uh, everybody performances were fucking A1, uh, from fucking, you know, Logan tweaking out, uh, you know, just feeling lonely, uh, you know, the, the whole fact that it's his birthday and he, he has to be, uh, you know, he has to be in a big ass argument, you know, fiasco with, with, between his kids, you know, and you can tell it's like killing him because he loves them. He loves them. Logan loves his kids. He loves his kids. He may not act like it, but he loves his kids. And, you know, everybody that's at his birthday, he don't even fucking care for. Like, they, you know, they're either trying to get something out of him or, you know, build a... You know, build a relationship. Just you know, they're they're just they're out there just to get something out of them. They're they're not really there for him. They're there for themselves. Uh but yeah, you know, you got you got Logan tweaking out, uh goddamn Connor's freaking out. <laughs> I don't even care for Connor. He's a fucking nobody, honestly, man. He he he's literally like the He's the uh, unloved child, honestly. Like, I think that's the one Logan don't even, you know, acknowledge like that. I mean, obviously he has to because it's his kid, but if he wasn't his kid, if he was, uh, I think he has more respect for fucking Greg than uh, Connor. Like, <laughs> uh, that shit. Oh, yeah, speaking of Greg, that man's a fool, bro. Bringing that little plus one date, uh, Bridget or whatever. Man, he's a clown. The day he's going to fucking... He's going to have sex and shit with her in fucking Logan's house. Like, this man wouldn't find out. I, I think Tom was fucking with them about the camera thing because Tom's just that type of fucking... Bitch ass. I don't even know. Fuck Tom, by the way. Fuck Tom. Still, it's still fuck Tom. It's gonna be fuck Tom to the end of this fucking season. He's a little rat ass, sneaky bitch. I don't even... Man. He he play, he's, he's, he's playing one hell of a role. He's playing one hell of a role. You know, he, he really made you not fucking... You can't stand him, you know, you can't stand him, but, uh, so let's get to the, the, uh, the Roy, you know, the Roy children, fucking, so we got, uh, Kendall, Roman, and Shiv, they're, uh, they're plotting, they're, they're pretty much plotting this whole goddamn episode, bro, like, it's funny as fuck, because Logan, you know, he, he, like, into his, his mindset, they have nothing, you know, they, uh, they're pretty much piggybacking off of him, like, they don't, they don't got no, they don't got no power, no pull, his, his last name is their pool, like, pretty much, so, they, you know, he's not really worried about them, he's more, He's more like just in a lonely mental mind state, like, uh, like, fuck everybody, what is life type of deal. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so you, you, you see the see Kendo, Shiv, and Roman. They're just plotting the whole goddamn episode. They fuck around and pull up on the Pierce family. Uh, you know, try to present to them an offer they can't resist. Fucking. Uh, they're not at first, you know. They're not biting it, you know. You know, they're not biting it. They're not biting it. They're not taking it, and they're not like. They think about it, you know, and they're like, hmm, because she, uh, because Nan, Nan Pierce, Nan Pierce, she kept saying, you know, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. She, you know, she just wants to fucking, she just wants to establish a, uh, you know, relationship with a fucking a company, you know. She just, she just want to get get a a like a good understanding that she is not money hungry like that. She just wants to be in a good partnership where she doesn't feel like she can't trust and she's gonna get fucked, which is how the Roy family runs, you know, generally. They're all, you know, like, you know, Kendall, Shed, Roman, they may all be together right now, but individually, you know, they're plotting. They're plotting against each other. They're plotting against their dad. They're, it's, it's crazy because, like, fucking. <clears throat> Shiv, I think, I think Shiv and, uh, I think Shiv and Kendall are on the same page for the most part. But Roman, Roman's he's Roman, he's kinda uh he's kinda iffy. Cause he 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 don't want he don't wanna uh he don't wanna risk it all. His he don't wanna risk it all and fucking, you know, not come out on top against his dad, cause he's still he's He's low key still scared to he's scared he's scared to go against Logan. He's scared to go against Logan. Let's just face it. He uh he you know, he's daddy's little boy. Little boy, little bitch, bitch boy. He uh he he doesn't want, you know, he doesn't want that failure out of this whole thing. And he's like really, really nervous to you know, do any type of deal that might not benefit him in the long run. And, you know, he's, like I said, he's fucking, he's, he's scared. He's scared. He's kind of, he's kind of iffy on, he's 50-50 on this whole, this whole shebang. And, because, you know, like Tom said, he's never seen Logan get fucked. Never. So, with that being said, Roman's kind of like in between. I feel like he's still, still a little in cahoots with uh, with with his dad, with Logan. He he's still like texting him or yeah. They even said it uh, in the trailer, the second uh, for the second episode, they caught him up. He got a little text from Logan. And they were, should have seen it. They're nursing at the table. And he, he's like, ah, oh, I touched him, you know, on his birthday. Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah, Roman. We we know. We know, Roman. You're a little fucking. Eh. We all know. We all know if you can fully dive in 100% to the Roy Children Company. <laughs> You're still trying to be with Pops. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, yeah. So, let's get back to fucking Logan. You, you know, you, you see his ass. Uh, he leaves his party. He leaves his birthday, own birthday party. Tell his, uh, his guard, Colin, you know, let's roll. They go sit down, have a bite to eat and shit. You and that at at the dinner at the dinner table at that moment, 
you can tell Logan was, uh, he was actually enjoying himself for once, or he actually felt something sincere out of a conversation with somebody, because that, you know, that whole birthday party shindig was just a whole bunch of BS, and fucking, you know, he kept calling them all monsters, like, they're just, they're just there to suck them dry, they're not, they're there to benefit themselves, not him, they're, it's some angle, everybody has an angle that, you know, that was there, and you see Colin, his bodyguard, he's just chilling, I'm like, he, he's not trying to get anything out of Logan, he's just uh, doing his job, he's just doing his job, bro, he's, He's not interested in his money. I mean, of course, you know, he, he wants to be paid, but it's not like he's kissing his ass and, oh, Logan, are you, oh, oh, my God, are you fine? Are you okay? Like, like everybody else was doing uh, at the party and shit, and, you know, Logan respects that. He respects that out of Colin. <laughs> That's why he, you know, he told him like you're you're a friend. You're actually you're you know, like man, out of all these people, I was at my birthday party, you know, I I I fuck with you. <laughs> I fuck with you like mostly, like it's why he pulled him to the side, like, you know, even though yeah, that's his that's his uh security, that's his bodyguard type of deal, but you know, he pulled he pulled him to the side. So now let's get back to this Shiv though. Shiv and fucking uh Tom. Oh my god. Like I said, they uh they played they played a dog ass role for his first episode. Like kudos to uh fucking Sarah Snook and Matthew McFadden, man. They I can't wait for the rest of this season, bro. Like they they about to pour their heart out into this shit. From like, cause from from shit from the fucking the freak out she had after the call between her and Tom to uh you know that whole cool playing it cool demeanor with the Pierce family meeting and then just the final scene with her and Tom. Uh, meeting back at the at the house or the loft or whatever they got, and she's just in pure devastation. Like you can see it too, like in both both of their eyes, but really in Shiv, cause Shiv was just she was heartbroken. She was real heartbroken. Uh, you know that she got played. You know she. She hates that. She hates that. She doesn't. She never wants to seem vulnerable or you know weak. You know she always plays this tough, strong woman, protagonist woman role. And Tom, Tom, uh, he 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 found a way to it. He found a way to her weakness. He uh he most. Definitely, like I said, he played his role well, too. Fucking Matthew McFadden, man. You're a fucking dog-ass uh, actor with this show. Uh, shit, Rose alone, I'm I'm waiting to see what else you got up your sleeve. But, uh, yeah, he... You can tell, like, Tom... He was... He was kind of... He felt sorry... But at the same time, you know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah, that's his lover. But, like I said, the way their type, their family is, it's, uh, it's everybody's just plotting. So, and he, you know, he's been, he been around that family for so long that he's obtained that, true art of finesse and you know it was sad he had to do it to his wife love of his life 
But, hey, she, she would have did it to him, you know. If it was, if it was, if it was a reverse role, she would have, she would she would have did it to him. Off for real. She, she did it to, she, she can do it to her brothers and her, and her father. She can, she would definitely do that shit to Tom. So, yeah. So you have it, uh, you know. Shiv, this next episode, I think Shiv is about to fucking turn up. Uh, this this whole fucking season is about to turn up. What the fuck am I saying? But you can just tell, uh, Shiv, Shiv is about to. She's about to be one of those uh dog as good roles this whole season. Like she's she's about to be on. Everything, bro. She's about to be on everything for sure. So is Logan, and so is fucking uh, Kendall. And right, Kendall, like I said, I love Kendall, Loki. Kendall, uh, it's, it's between Kendall and Greg for me. Greg, just because he's a fool, and you know he plays that innocent dummy role, but he he you know he he might he might just be that finesse guy, and then Kendall. Kendall's got that dog in him, you know, he's, he's fucking, he was the first one to get manipulated by Logan and see how the whole game ran, he was right under his wing, so, yeah, most definitely, Kendall got that dog in him, but so you have it, guys, uh, this is, like I said, Tokum's Special review, the Critic Corp, uh, Secession, Season 4, Episode 1. Tune in next week for Episode 2. Let me know what you guys think of this episode. Leave some, you know, leave, your, leave some comments, like, subscribe, support the motherfucking Corp. And, uh, yeah, I shall be seeing y'all soon. So, toodles.